Let's talk about shopping carts really quick. I want to reiterate my stance on the WordPress platform. Since I began my first e-commerce company in 2008, I have since changed my shopping cart four times, from OS Commerce to Big Commerce to Magento and WP e-commerce. I have finally found the most effective and free shopping cart. I currently use WordPress along with WooCommerce as my shopping carts for all of my e-commerce sites. WordPress is an open source platform which creates versatility to allow developers to create thousands of plugins, themes, and much more. I want to disclose that all of these are my own opinions and I am not receiving any compensation from WordPress, WooCommerce, or any plugins, themes, features that I will be going over, nor do I have any business relationship with any of the companies. I've created the pros and cons with WordPress WooCommerce versus the rest of the industry. As you can see, the main differences are between what you pay for and what you use. WordPress, in my opinion, is the easiest, free, and most expandable platform to date, compared to Magento, BigCommerce, and the rest. I'm not saying that any of those are bad choices, I'm saying that I have experienced all of them firsthand as a developer and as a store owner. As you can see my little alligator in the picture, WordPress WooCommerce is definitely free for life. They won't charge for it at all. There's no licensing fee to use it. It's 100% open source. There's thousands of plugins, thousands of templates, and it definitely is the number one open source web platform. Now, compare that to Magento, Volusion, Shopify, and BigCommerce. Most of them do have monthly fees. They also have bandwidth limits, product limits, limited functionality, and limited templates. They also cap your storage amounts. In a recent poll, there were four platforms that stood head and shoulders above the rest. Number one being WordPress WooCommerce, which made up almost half of the votes, 48%, while OpenCart and Magento had an equal share of about 12%, and PrestaShop with about 8%. Next in line were those who prefer to build their own e-commerce solutions from scratch. Developers versus non-developers. This next poll distinguishes developers and which platform they actually preferred. If we take a look at non-developers, we also see a similar correlation from the last polling data. This survey was done earlier this year on the top 1 million websites. Obviously, WordPress is nowhere to be seen. It seems to be a smaller subsection of other, accounting to about 10%. Magento is obviously huge. However, you will need to take into account that these are the top 1 million stores and have been around for a while and have reached a threshold in their business. I'm not saying not to use Magento or Shopify. I'm just saying that most of you are either in the beginning phases of your stores or currently already have a store. So to compare this to the top 1 million isn't even comparing apples to apples. Shopping cart resources, themes. I included a PDF with this lecture on resources to use for your store. The first bit of resources is themes. You're not limited to just woo themes, themes as you may or may not have known. There are reputable third-party websites such as ThemeForest who offer stylish templates for your store. This is because WooCommerce is built with flexibility and you can easily copy files directly to your theme even to integrate many of the hooks and filters they use. However, I do recommend you check into the release frequency ensuring the developer is compliant with all of the WooCommerce settings along with support. Here's a quick view of additional plugins that are available with WooCommerce. I will go into detail later on which plugins I use and why I use them. I've learned from trial and error and hope to create a streamlined process for your store setup. For more e-commerce resources, including guides, tutorials, and walkthroughs, visit actionecommerce.com. That's actionecommerce.com.